All right, guys, so today I'm going to keep things really short and cute and simple. We're going to be doing a cause nail tutorial, and it's really just me drawing one of the cause um, figures. And if you don't know who cause is, then just go to Google and research who cause is. He's a really famous artist, and I really love his work. I really do. So shout out to cause because if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be doing this little tutorial right now. But yeah, this um this is really really easy to do. Um I actually did like a full set on this, but I thought it would be a little bit easier to just show you like the cause character because the rest of it is like super duper easy designs and a lot of people cannot draw cause. And I I don't I don't understand why they can't draw it. But it's not for me to understand, it's for me to explain how I did mine so you could be, you know, well on your way of doing yours. So I'm just drawing the outline of his body first and I'm doing that in like a, um, a lighter nude color, if you will, so it can show up better on the background. Um, this is actually a Beatles nude. I'll link it in the description box below. And I'm using a Beatles uh, liner brush. I like to use long brushes sometimes to do like body work first. I don't know why, I just, I mean, I do. It's like more range, more flexibility than like using a shorter line brush. But um, yeah, guys, just go ahead and watch the rest of this. All right, now I'm going in with some white to draw his little, um, his ears, I, I guess you would say these are. Like, the, if you gotta see what cause looks like first to understand why I'm calling them ears, and I think they really are ears. But yeah, I'm just, I like to go ahead and draw the actual color of the body first, and then I outline like in black. Instead of outlining in black and then going in and like making the colors, no, because then you'd have to go back and outline in black again. And guys, I do apologize if you hear any Hispanic music. Um, you know, I live in a Hispanic neighborhood and we are always lit around here. And I apologize if you hear my two dogs. They are always fighting. I cannot stop them. They they fight whenever they want to. And guys, in the comments, please do not come for me about putting nail polish on my hands. It happens, okay? It happens, and if you are using toxic-free nail polishes, you should not have anything to worry about. If it gets on your skin, you will be fine. That is the back-in-the-day nail polish they're talking about. That if you get it on your skin, you'll break out in hives and stuff like that. That doesn't happen anymore. Can y'all please stop fighting? Please? Theodore! Okay. So I'm just drawing the rest of his ears at the bottom. And my practice hand, oh, y'all, she has seen some rough days. She's had some rough patches, literal, <laughs> literally. Um, I need to go to Hobby Lobby and get me some of that, like, I don't know. It's like almost like resin, but it's like rubber. I forgot the name of it, but I'm going to do a video of me fixing my hand so you guys can, you know see what to do with yours because it is so freaking easy messing these practice hands up but um yeah <laughs> I actually figured out another little way to put my nail tips inside of my practice hand so I won't actually tear it up anymore and y'all I use my practice hand on the daily literally on the daily and I know I'm talking a lot in this one but guys like sometimes you have to talk a lot because I work for myself and I don't, I don't really like go out or <laughs> like have human contact like that. So when I'm recording my videos, I'm going to talk. Like I just, I don't know, I can't help it. It's a real thing. All right guys, and each time that I am like um, cutting the scene and coming back, I'm actually placing my practice hand in the lamp. 
so when you see me putting this black on top of this white and this nude those two layers are actually cured already do you see how much easier that is to just go go ahead and like outline it while the colors are already there it would be such a hassle to go ahead and like outline it and then put the two colors like that no mm -mm. Usually I would cut the scenes when I'm um, fixing a mistake that I made, but I left this in here to let you guys know that it is okay to make mistakes. We are not perfect at doing this. I am not perfect at doing this at all. Like when I first started, I couldn't even lay a freaking bead to save my life, even if I wanted to. That was not a possibility for me. So it's okay to make mistakes. Like that's how you learn. You don't, you will never know how far you can go until you know where you have been. I am done with the copyright, so here goes some regular Douglas Schmegler music to finish out this video.
really 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 adore this artist because his design is just like so unique i really love it i love the x's for eyes and these little um fuzzy bristle things they're on each and every one of his designs so you're just gonna take like a little uh like a little liner brush and just draw some little lines coming from the outlines if that makes sense and like don't overthink this guys <laughs> when you're done with it it will look amazing i promise you don't overthink it I'm giving you guys a little bonus here. I'm letting you see how I set up my background so I can take pictures of my design. Theodore. Ugh, y'all, he's gonna be famous one day, I swear to God. But look at that pretty design, it's so pretty. I love Cos so much. Oh my God, guys. All right, friends, that is it for today, our Cos design. I will see you in the next one, bye.